Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is another bullet journal plan with me for the month of May 2021. But when I was planning this month I had very little ideas about what I wanted to do and I ended up looking through my old bullet journals for inspiration. I came across this July spread from 2019 that was honeybees, bumblebees, honeycomb and honey and I found it really interesting and I wanted to recreate that both because it looked fun and also because I could see how much I have grown in the bullet journal world. As well as that, I have been super busy these last few months and my last two spreads for April and for March were both rather simplistic and very basic in their layout simply because I did not have much time to plan them or to video them with any great detail. So for the month of May I have slightly more time on my hands and I decided to do something really bright, really colourful and just something that would make me happy to look at. And this honeycomb bumblebee spread was the result. So for this cover page I'm doing a very basic hexagonal honeycomb hive type of layout. I've also added two bumblebees which took quite a long time to figure out how to draw. You'll see a lot more bumblebees throughout the spread. And then I went in with the brightest yellow marker that I owned, in this case is Stabio, before adding May with the black version of the same type of marker. I really love how this page turned out and it just genuinely makes me so happy to look at it. After that I decided to add a honeycomb type layout for my events page. I usually keep this to a certain amount of lines but I decided why not have fun with it. So this did take quite a long time to sketch out and even longer to go back over in black marker but the end result is really fun to look at. So I've added 31 different honeycomb cells for each of the 31 days in March and I quickly went back in with the same yellow marker which you will see throughout a lot of this week's video and I've added a habit tracker down below. The idea of this habit tracker is that I can mark each of the habits using a dotted line which is what people tend to draw for honeybees. So as you can see with the honeybee I'm currently drawing it's that type of style that I will be using to track my habits so hopefully at the end of the month it will look like part of the design. So I didn't have enough room to fully write out each of my habits, but since I have been recording the same habits for the last few months, I recognise what they are quite quickly by symbols. So I've those drawn in on the left hand side, and finally I added the word habits with yet another bumblebee just above the tracker. After that, it is on to the first of my four weekly spreads for this month. Since unfortunately May is rather awkward with the days it falls on, my first week will include a Saturday and a Sunday, which are the first and second of May respectively, as well as the following week. So I'm using each of these yellow boxes as each day of the week that I'm recording and this is just a very helpful sidebar to have to add in any events or meetings or occasions that I might have during the week so I can quickly see any important things that are happening the next day. So in keeping with my bumblebee honeycomb type of theme this month, each of the four weekly spreads has definitely a few sections of honeycomb cells and some of them also have bumblebees on top of that. Every week also has the same layout for the sidebar to track events as well as the total amount of days in March below the event side. I always find having this mini calendar really helpful to quickly reference what day a certain day falls on or any events that might be coming up in the future.
and that is it for this week's video. Here is a quick overview of how the final monthly layout for May looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed the spread. Please like and comment any ideas you have for future videos down below. And please, please, please smash that subscribe button. I update new videos every two weeks and I will talk to you guys then.